Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Atari Lynx games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen right now, you can see me playing some. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing two apps. The first of these apps is going to be RetroArch. This is going to be our free emulator that we're going to be using to play Atari Lynx games in today's video. So the first thing you want to do is come to the Play Store and get this installed. When this is installed, we're going to be backing out of here and then we're going to be searching for and installing installing a second app. This is going to be another free app and it's called Z Archiver. We're going to be using Z Archiver for extracting and locating to our games a little bit later on. This is an app I'd recommend having on your Android phone regardless. It's a great file management and compression and extraction software and you're going to need to get this installed also. So once both of these are installed we're going to be opening up RetroArch and if this is your first time opening the app you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage as we're going to be needing to locate the games a little bit later on. From this point what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top and here we'll see all of available and downloaded cores in our RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is downloading a new core for our Atari Lynx. We can simply scroll down here and look for the download a core option. Simply click that open and then you're going to see all available cores for your RetroArch. What we're going to be doing is scrolling down until we see Atari Lynx and in here we actually have two options Atari Lynx Beetle Handy and also Atari Lynx Handy. In this case I'm going to be using Beetle Handy although you can try and test both. One might work better than the other for some games so it's worth experimenting in certain situations. In this case to install a core simply click on the core. Some text will appear at the bottom to download and once the text disappears your core will be fully installed. This can depend a little bit on your internet connection but normally it shouldn't take too long. Once your core is downloaded we're ready to back out of here we can simply click the back button on the top left and then we're ready to talk about our games. Now we're going to be talking about our games using Z Archiver. In this case I already have my games downloaded in my Atari Lynx folder right here and you can see I have Battlezone right here at the moment. Now from this point my game is in a .zip file and it is possible for RetroArch to read my games in a .zip file. However if your game comes in a .7z or a .rar format you will need to extract your games and that's where Z Archiver is going to come in handy. So what we're going to be doing to extract your games either in a .zip, .rar or .7zip. Simply click on your game once with Z Archiver and then we'll have here two options either to extract here which is going to extract our game in its current location or extract dot 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 if you would like to extract your game to another location. Since I already have this folder created specifically for this I'm simply going to be clicking extract here and then my game is going to extract out and in this case you're looking for the dot lnx file or Atari Lynx files. So RetroArch is specifically looking for these dot lnx files although sometimes it can read it from inside a zip as I mentioned but the best thing to be safe is always to extract them out and just have your dot lnx files like I do right here. So I will also mention from this point in today's video I'm not going to be showing you where to download games although games are really really easy to find a quick google search will help you out here all you need to do is quickly search on google and you'll find exactly what you're looking for now from this point we're ready to head back over to RetroArch now that we have our game extracted what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very top and we're going to be loading our atari Lynx core in this case i have it here at the very top what i'm going to be doing is simply selecting it and then my core will be loaded from this point you're going to be clicking load content and then you want to locate to where your games are downloaded in this case i've located to my folder and i have my lnx file right here all you need to do is select your .lnx file and as long as you have your core selected your game should load up without a problem and then you'll be playing Atari Lynx games on your Android device. And just like that my game has loaded. If you do see a problem with one of your cores I'd recommend trying the other core. In this case you can either use the Beetle Handy or the Handy as I mentioned in the previous step. All you need to do is go back to your cores, download that core as a second option and then try your game with both. If one doesn't work the other may work and vice versa. In this case Battlezone worked no problem for me and you can see on screen right now I'm playing it without any problem. Anyway guys it's as easy as that to play Atari Lynx games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.